Welcome to part two, barbecuing your turkey. So right here I have a brined and dried turkey. And what I'm gonna do first is I have this dry rub with uh, brown sugar, paprika, garlic powder, and pepper. I'm just gonna mix this up. And you're just gonna do a dry rub on your turkey. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on it first. A little olive oil, spread it around. And we're just gonna massage it in. Okay, now we're gonna get our dry rub. Just coat the turkey. Give it a nice brown color. Wrap it in bacon. Keep the uh, meat moist. Now the next step, we are going to do beer can. So pour half the beer out of the can, save it for later, drink while you're cooking. some of our dry rub on the top. The theory is the beer and then the spices are gonna come up and steam in the inside of the chicken, giving it this nice flavor. Just gonna drop a couple cloves of garlic in there. I'm not even gonna worry about shucking it. And there you go. So I have the grill at 350 and I have four burners. So I'm only using these two, the right side and the left side. And I've somehow propped the turkey up on this beer can. And I'm hoping that it's gonna stay. It should stay. Hopefully it will close. It does. It's a good sign. And we're just gonna let it cook for about three hours. Come back um, and maybe brush it with some cranberry juice every 45 minutes or so. All right, we'll check on it in about three and a half hours. So after three and a half hours on the grill, your turkey should come out nice and brown. What I did was about 30 minutes before, so three hours in, I, I took off all the bacon and then I, I started to glaze it with a glaze that I'll have on my description of the video. It's a bourbon glaze. Uh, I found some cherry bourbon and if you could smell this, it smells delicious. So uh, good luck with your barbecue turkey and see you next year.